doesn't taste like anything. I'm not going to try that again. It's the fact that people who know me know better than to try and help me cook when I play nice in the kitchen. <laughs> oh yeah, you can see that. Look at that. But I was, you know, I'll try and fill up only half to get the point across. before I top up the whole thing. You are looking at the difference between... The lighter one is Cadbury brand and cocoa powder, and the darker one is home brand cocoa powder. I wonder like, what the whole point of the whole... being different is. That sounds like a great plan though, Meg. We should definitely set up time to cook in the kitchen because I'll do one thing wrong and you'll be like, get the fuck out of here. And me, tactfully planning on that exact thing to happen, will be like, no worries, I'll let you handle it. See you later. I'll just go down and just sit down on the couch and have a beer. Just wait for the meal to get prepared. Easy. Your dessert though. Mixing time. Oh, hang on, no. What do I need to. Cocoa powder. H half a cup. Half a cup of. Not cocoa powder. Half a cup of. Oh, hang on a second. I don't think I've got enough desiccated coconut to make this recipe work. <laughs> hang on a second. I think I might have walked into a hole here. this recipe is going to work is I'm going to use half of my leftover desiccated coconut, however much that is, in the recipe and the other half I will keep in the bag and it will be what I decorate the outside of the things with and it looks like, it looks like a small tablespoon. <coughs> Um, I just need a, a generic spoon, please. This one. Oh, maybe I should have had a bigger bowl. And maybe some of these biscuit pieces could have been a little bit uh, more broken up. Whatever, it's, it's not a real recipe, it's a cheap recipe. It's the kind of recipe that you shouldn't make, but you've got the ingredients, so you kind of just mash them together and it works. Oh, hang on, let me check that. Um... I mean, it's not really any warmer than before. It's just to keep the light on temperature. I think I'll put it in there anyway. Just because that's likely to be just like one degree warmer. Than the outside the oven. Okay, so basically we've just got bits of biscuit. Very tiny amount of desiccated coconut and chocolate. Let's pour in this snack can and get to work. Feline is walking into the kitchen.
Oh, I didn't do the part of the recipe where it says make a well in the middle. Oh no. I wonder if that will ruin my recipe. This is not baking. <laughs> it's just like cheating. If it doesn't go in the oven, it's not baking. Oh, sticky block of stuff. And some condensed milk on the outside of the rim of the bowl. some mixed stuff down the bottom there. Try and get that involved. Okay, it is all mixed together, chocolate, condensed milk, biscuits, coconut, that didn't taste like anything, I need a real sample, I'll use my butter knife from before. Pretty good. 10 out of 10. Okay. Mm, what did it say? Chill for half an hour and then take it out and do the thing with it. Scraping off the edges here with the lid of the can. Expert techniques. Okay, that's done. Fridge. Still, put that stuff there, wash that, hit that. Alright, well that 
50 recipe, 50 minute recipe turned out to only be 20 minutes and 30 minutes of waiting. <laughs> so here we are again, uh, doing the old thumb twiddle while we wait for stuff to happen. What are we waiting for? Pastry cream is made, the dough is rising slowly. How long has it been rising for? One hour. So it's only been going for an hour. Um, I'm going to do something with those whites from the yolks before. I've got three egg whites. There's not many cool stuff you can make with whites other than... Oh! Perfect timing. What's going on, Emily? I, I am... Things are progressing well, but it's one of those moments where nothing happens. What can I do with leftover egg whites? And I don't want to go into like a five-hour recipe. <laughs> just, just temper. I've got thirty minutes before my fridge chilling of something else finishes, and brioche dough is busy rising. So we're waiting for a. But yeah, we're just figuring out what to do. Marshmallow cream. Let's gobble this. Seems a little yellow. They do seem yellow, but my. Marshmallow cream, eh? Corn syrup, egg white, sugar, vanilla extract. That's a frosting, eh? Or you can use it as a frosting. You could probably just stuff it in your gullet and enjoy the flavour. <laughs> I've never heard of this before. Um... Verify to me if this is a trustworthy recipe. <laughs> Since you know things. Four large egg whites. Okay, I've got three. Hey, no, this is just for meringue. What? There's no corn syrup in that recipe. Jason, these eggs, by the way, were only cracked like an hour ago. So maybe the chickens were. <laughs> um, does that answer your question? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what this is. Glucose syrup from corn. I have some glucose syrup. Yeah, but that recipe didn't have it, so I think that recipe is not the one we're going to follow. What's this one? One egg white at room temperature. Just one. Okay. Three... Three quarters of a cup of corn syrup. No, 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 no. Something's wrong there. Something's got to be wrong there. A single egg white, and what all amounts to about eight thousand calories of sugar. No, I refuse to make this recipe. I'm not going to eat this stuff. I don't want to get diabetes. That is ridiculous. I don't trust all recipes.com anyway. They're full of lies. <laughs> tons and tons of lies. Yeah, marshmallow. Oh, 
let's try this. Corn syrup. We have corn syrup now. I want it with it. Uh, with no. <laughs> the first two recipes say <laughs> without. Mm. Oh, hang on. Sorry, this one. I missed it. Live for cake. Mm, very fancy looking. Oh, this is all honey. Cream of tartar. Yeah, this this looks more in the realm of things. These egg whites are not room temperature. <laughs> I, I'll just let them sit there for a while. Uh, anyway, saucepan it up. Candy thermometer on. Do not stir. Uh, oh yeah, make sure they're grease free. Hey, look, how many? Oh, there's three, three egg whites in that. And uh, allegedly they're large egg whites, but the eggs looked quite small today. Let's have a look at some other ones. They're called jumbo eggs. So, yeah. Oh yeah, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Condolences, but I still laugh because it's funny. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, am I going to need to <laughs> clean my bowl? I am. Am I? I'm going to have to clean that thing that I've got dirty for making the brioche dough. This. this is something that will trigger you as well. Follow this recipe before and look at this. Look, look at this. What's that? What's that doing in pastry cream? Huh? That is, that is incorrect. And just for argument's sake, even though I know that it's wrong, I did it anyway. <laughs> just to say that I followed the recipe. <laughs> but it was so thick! It was so stupid! I know you add cornstarch to pastry cream, but flour, is, this person who wrote this is just dumb, aren't they? Thank you. You, all, you knew as well. It was just, it's just so thick. Right. It feels like rubber, basically. I don't know what it's gonna be like when it comes out, once it's cooled down and chilled, and I take it out and give it a whisk. <laughs> I'm really not looking forward to it. <laughs> but I knew that I wasn't crazy. Yeah, nah. Okay, yeah. Anyway. Back to this. So I thoroughly clean the bowl. Actually, you know what? Since, since we've got a lurker constantly lurking around me, and we've got a slight lull in the situation, I'm going to deal with the lurker. And feed it.
Alright, what flavour today? Looks like beef. Let me, let me imprompt you, let me, let me imprompt you, use that fancy new camera that I have not found a good place for yet. Um, um, 